And today we have a full body workout. So it's gonna be cardio strength and abs. I'll be using 10 pounds today, but you can use whatever weight you wanna use. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. And remember to go at your own pace. Focus on form above all else. And remember, this is a video, so if you ever get lost or anything like that, you can always pause it, rewind it. The gloriousness of technology. All right guys, let's get warmed up. Roar. All right guys, nice and easy. Let's go with those jumpy jacks. Remember, touch the hands at to the top, jump the feet out wide, or you can always tap it if you need to. Keep it going. All of my moves can be modified if you need them. Woo! And I will be getting those modifications today. Oh yeah, as always. Let's go for three, two, one, and shake, shaky. All right, nice regular squats, and then a front kick. So sink on down, try to get at least 90 degrees with those legs. Keep your chest up and your back as flat as possible. You might feel pretty stiff at first. That's why we're doing them in the warm up. So during our workout, we can crank them out with good form. Sink it. Press that weight midfoot to heel on those feet, not in the ball of your toes. Sinky, sinky. Let's go one more. And go ahead, butt kicks. Kick that booty. I like to keep my hand, hands behind me so I know that I'm bringing my feet up high enough. It's hot today. It's very hot. But the birds are out. It's a beautiful day. Three, two, one, and feet out wide. We're gonna sink down side to side. Shard to shard. Nice little movement as we stretch. You can touch opposite sides if you need to. Try to keep your back as flat as you can. Again, place that weight midfoot to heel, push your butt back. Go one, two, two more. And go ahead, bounce it up. Woo. Arm circles. We're going to keep those arms all the way around your way. And let's get back. Bring it back. I always feel like I'm at a show, like, yeah, we're doing great. Jazz hands. Or sparkle, spark, sparkle. <laughs> as you guys know from my cool down. All right, go ahead, crisscross those arms. Really think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. Whew. Stretching out that chest, opening it up, and also getting that back nice and warm. Keep your core strong. Three, two, one. Let's walk out some skaters. So, side to side, step, and step. You can throw some hooks. We will be doing skaters today, but we're going to be trying to balance as we hop side to side. So if you want to, you can go ahead, start adding that hop in if you feel ready for it. Keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. We're just working out our body, getting all strong and stuff. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's go for three, two, one, and shake it out some back lunges. Alternate legs, step back, sink straight down, and bring it back. Again, you wanna think about putting that weight midfoot to heel, this time on that front leg, and you wanna think elevator, not escalator, so we don't shoot forward or back. You wanna sink straight down. So step it back far, sink straight down. Woo! Keep it up, guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Side. I was going to say three, but then we want to be even, and that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All right, go ahead, shake it out, bounce it out. All right, let's go ahead and get those forearms and wrists nice and warmed up. We're going to come down, starting out in a down dog though. So come to plank position, press fingertips, palms to the ground, midfoot to heel, and bicycle up those feet. Getting those calves nice and ready. And shift that weight forward, bring it back. Woo! Oh, so nice. And shift that weight forward, one more time. Really press back, opening up those shoulders. Relax your neck. 
and go ahead, bring it forward, come down to those knees. From here, keep your arms straight, push forward, and then bring it back. A little rocking action, getting those wrists, because we will be doing burpees today, so if that's too intense, you can always stand or kneel, go like this, and pull back. <laughs> that works too. Or you can go up to a wall and do the same thing. All right, go ahead, cross those hands together, fewer circles. Woo, alternate directions. All right, go ahead, come to plank, jumper step up, bounce it out. One more set, jump jacks, this time in front. So one hand on top, bring it in front. If this is too weird for you, you can always stick with the regular jumping jacks. Keep it going. Almost there. Three, two, one, and let's get started. 10 seconds. We're gonna start with 10 high knees and three skaters. So the skaters are coming into play right away. <laughs> start off on one side, keep your core nice and strong. Bring those knees up. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go to one side. Go the other, and the other side. And now we're on this side, to do the high knees. Now, if the high knees are too intense for you, you can go ahead and do high knee marches instead, just in a place like this. That's totally okay. And then you can go back to walking out those skaters if you need to, okay? So, don't know how many I'm on. <laughs> so make sure you keep on going as I demonstrate. I'll be getting those modifications. Two, three, one, two, five, six, nine, ten. One, two, three, one, two. All right, grab one weight. We're gonna be alternating back lunges with a twist. So, getting those legs warmed up, still. Back lunge, twist towards the knee that's in front. Exhale every time you twist, so we get that nice ab crunch. So not all ab movements need to be floor workouts. Keep it going. If it is hot where you guys are too, just know that it's going to feel, it's probably going to feel more challenging for you if you're not used to the heat. So I don't want you to feel like you're totally out of shape or anything like that. Sink it. We're just catching our breath here. Because next up is a cardio move. And you'll never guess what it is. Burpees. Side slip burpees. You're going to act like there's a bar right here. We're going to slip underneath like this. And then come into a burpee. Now, I'm going to do chest to floor burpees. You can totally do either step back or jump into a plank, come up on the tippy toes, or jump. Woo. Just make sure you do that jump or step up at the top. Woo. Keep it going. All the way. Keep that core strong. Keep that body strong. If you lose balance, it's not a big deal. 
Remember, we're not here to beat ourselves up um, about like not balancing right. Like some days are just off for no reason at all. And that happens. All right, let's go to the other side. So try to have hips as straight as you can. In order to do that, you can flex your toe like this and then try to keep it forward. So if we start to turn it out like this, then our hips come with and we turn it. This should feel like a stretch in that back leg, or sorry, in that stabilizing leg. And kick. Woo! <laughs> Today, I guess, is a challenging balance day for me. That's okay. That's okay. It happens. I'm just going to try my best, focus on form above all else. It's so hot. It's so hot. So hot out. Okay. So nice job, guys. Go ahead. We're going to put this down. Feel a little movement flow. If you can't do this break dance kick out that I'm going to do, you're going to stick with push ups. So start with a push up. Bring one foot to the outside of your hand. The other hand kick, or the other foot kicks through your hand and foot. Bring it back. Push up. Step, kick through. Be open minded when it comes to movement. I promise you, you'll have way more fun. You'll learn your body way more. Whew. I feel like movement flow has made me learn my body the most out of all the movements that I do. Remember, you can always come down to the knees, stick with push ups, and then you can just kick through here. You can do a push up. Come up, kick through. Because you're still working your core, still working shoulder stability, chest. Whew. That was good. All right, next up jumping jack, A jack. So we're just combining those two jumping jacks we did in the warm up. All right. It is a beautiful day. <laughs> Keep it going, guys. Keep that core nice and strong. We got this. We're doing awesome already. So we're not gonna stop. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> That's not what we do. Keep it up, guys. We're gonna grab both weights after this and go with regular bicep curls. I want you guys to challenge yourself with weights Especially if you have multiple, choose a heavier weight than you usually go. Do it with good form. And then if you need to, you can always go to a lower weight. Okay. So, roll shoulder blades back and down. Depress those shoulders. Palms facing up. Curl. Keep your core strong. Make sure you're not swinging the body. I like to... Stagger my feet. Control it on the way down because you're still building muscle on the way down as you stretch it. And when we, we want to build muscle, we actually tear it first and then it rebuilds stronger. How emo is that? <laughs> Keep going.
we're gonna go back to cardio now. So, four kick outs and four plank jacks. If you can't do the kick outs, you're just going to step them out instead. If you can, here with me. One, two, three, four. Come down, four plank jacks. Two, three, four. Come back up. One, two, three, four. If you can't do the plank jacks, you can walk it out. Step, 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 and step. Okay, that totally works. One, two, three, four. Come down. One, two. It's easy to slip back here and come here, but you want to make sure your hands are right under your shoulders when you're in that plank. Four, come down. Two, three, four. Push yourself a little bit harder when you're just like, hey, I don't really feel like it. 
versus my body needs a break. <laughs> so really start to learn your body. It will help you so much, so, so much, and you'll enjoy your workout so much more. All right, four butt kicks, rock star. One, two, three, four, rock star. Practice landing soft. Three, four, get the rock on side, keep your butt. If that's too intense, you can just hop, you bring your hands up like that, that totally works. Two, or you can stick with butt kicks. But really, if you're, especially if you're doing that rock star, learn to control your weight on the way down. Because as much force as you put on that ground is as much as you put on your joints. And we want to be able to work out and move our whole life. So, one, two, four. One, two, four. All right. Next up. Six. Number 16. Down dog to side plank. Just like in the warm up. So, down dog, press back, come forward, side plank, come back. You can always come to down dog, come to plank, bring your knee down, and bring it up. Just make sure when you bring your knee down, you're not like this, and then twist, because I don't know how your knee help is. And if you personally have bad knees, that twist will not be good for you. So you could always, instead of twisting, you could bring it down, then bring it up and up. Keep it up, guys. Press it back. Remember, fitness is supposed to strengthen us, not hurt us in the long run. <laughs> we want to look good, but we want to feel good. All right, front kick, back kick, kick, pogo hop. I'm going to grab one weight, just for fun. All right, so front kick, stabilize, back kick, and hop. I'm going to add both weights. <laughs> we'll get. Okay, so. Front kick, back kick, hop. Stabilize. Front kick, back kick, hop. So you're trying not to touch your left foot down at all. But obviously, if you need to, if you're really burning out or you just need to whew, find balance again, that's totally cool. Shaky, shaky. Back kick, hop. Front kick. Keep it up, guys. Oh, man. That leg is burning. So we're going to go right to the other side. I don't know why I didn't pull my hair up. <laughs> I feel like a swamp monster. All right, so go ahead. Bring it forward, back, hop, forward, and back, hop. Take your time with those kicks. They don't need to be rushed at all. Back kick, hop, forward kick, back kick, hop. Oh goodness, forward kick, back kick, hop, forward kick, back kick, hop. Oh, we got this. We got this. Hop. Woo. <laughs> Lost balance. Okay, here we go. Forward kick, back kick, hop, back kick. All right. All right, thrusters is next. So it's not a squat and press. It's a flowing movement. So we're going to start here, sink down, and press. Sink down, press. So squeeze your butt and bring those hips thrusting up. I know it sounds funny, but it is what it is. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. Nice job, guys. Sing it down. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze your core. Keep that back nice and safe. Well, 
these always are very challenging for me. <laughs> okay, so side raises are next. Working on that lateral deltoid, that nice cap for our shoulders. Okay, so deep press the shoulders, roll the shoulders back and down, then raise it. Because <sighs> there's a difference between not depressing your shoulders like this and then keeping them down, bringing them up. That's going to make you work those lateral delts way more effectively and not bring muscles that we shouldn't be bringing in, like those traps. Keep it up, guys. We're over halfway with our workout. Oh, yeah. Last few. Three, two, and one. All right, guys, next up, we have roll back and two mobiles. If you can't do the roll back, I want you to squat instead, okay? So keep your neck safe, do not roll on it. Bring it back, bring it forward into a plank, jump to the side, jump to the side. Now, if this is too much, again, I want you to stick with squat, bring it here, and you can do a spider and a spider. Okay, you're still working your obliques. Woo! <laughs> Keep it going. Uh, look back, nice and safe. Not on the neck or the head. Side. Side. This one is just fun. Have fun with it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be slipping. It is definitely a little slippies. Okay. Those legs. <laughs> Next up, rear delt fly. So grab one weight. Come to a static lunge. Right leg, left hand, bend the elbow slightly. Rear delt fly. So for this one, you want to make sure you're not bringing it back like this. That's a row. Fly, bend the elbow slightly, bring it out like you have a wing. You don't want to bring it back here though. Okay? Bring it out. Bring it back. Nice neutral neck. Nice flat back. Again, if this is too much, chair pose will do. Nice flat back though. Like this. Keep your core strong. Try not to woo, don't open up the chest. Just finish it out here. So, rear delt, back of the shoulder. So important to work because push ups and all that jazz, we work so much front and side that we want to make sure we keep a nice, healthy shoulder by working all three parts of it. Woo. I went through a few times where I had bad shoulder pain, I couldn't even plank, and it's because my chest was too tight and my back wasn't strong enough to keep good posture. Everything was pulling the wrong way. <laughs> and I wasn't strengthening my back as much as I showed in my rear delts. So, don't make my mistake. <laughs> keep going. After this, we're working those biceps again and those forearms this time. So, zombie curls. Oh my goodness, so different when it's super hot. Okay, roll shoulder blades back and down. Palms up, curl, turn down. Slowly come down, nice and controlled. So, curl, turn down, control. Oh, I need to hydrate. <laughs> Make sure you guys are keeping hydrated. After this, we have a cardio move, so you're going to want to keep it going. Whew. Curl, turn, slowly come down. Curl, turn, 
down. Keep it going. Oh, goodness. Okay, knee pulls are next. You can add weight if you want to. Okay. Whew. I'm going to add a weight. So, drive one knee up. And knee pulls. Now, if you can't do these, you can always do it with weight and walk them out. You can do them without weight and walk them out. That's okay too, right? So, it's up to you. What are you going to do? Feels in your core because we are doing some serious crunching here. Keep it up, guys. Ten seconds. Whew. All right. Next up, curtsy, single leg, and arm press. Have your weight in the left hand, stabilizing the right, chest facing forward. Step behind you, sink down, come up, curl, press, back, down. Whew. Same leg. Make sure you keep your chest up. If this is too challenging, you can do a curtsy. Make sure, again, chest facing forward, you're not turning here, because you want to get those glutes. You can step, you can have slight, Tippy toe. So most of the weight is still in that right leg. Oh my goodness. Keep it up, guys. So fun. So fun. Back and down. It's really, really good to work unilaterally on one side. It trains your body more to know how to use just one part of your body. It uses your brain differently. You learn stability differently. It's just very, very awesome for yourself. Come up, up, and back. We are almost to abs, guys. So stay with me. Stay strong. We're doing awesome. Remember, I do have a cool down after. And cooling down, stretching is so important. Mobility and flexibility, so important. Can't stress it enough. Don't make the mistakes I made in the past. <laughs> Sit down, come up. All right, skater, knee up, curtsy. So, we're going to be doing skater, knee up, and then curtsy. So we're going back to those curtsies. Skater, knee up, curtsy. Come back. Skater, knee up, curtsy. Right back. Skater, knee up, and curtsy. Modification, step it, skater, knee up, curtsy. Okay? So you can always take most of the balance out of that skater. I think this is my favorite move of today. It's working everything. Cardio, strength. I feel it in my core too as I bring my knee up, stabilizing. Uh, we're going to continue to work those glutes. I'm going to grab one weight. Have your bottoms of the feet together, frog pumps. Place it right on the hips if you have your weight. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze. I know it looks funny. I know it feels funny. But we're working those glutes in different ways. And especially after those curtsies. Now if you want to make it more challenging, don't touch the ground. Like lightly tap and then come back up. Squeeze. Keep some more time under tension for those glutes. After this, we're going to finish out with core. So again, stay with me. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We just got it. All the way. Squeeze. Squeeze. Finish it out, guys. We got five, 
four, three, two, one. Whew, you know what? You forgot something. I'm sorry. This is actually my fault. <laughs> Tricep kickbacks. So we're actually going to stay on the ground because I don't, I'm trying not to go on the ground too much and then off the ground. So you're going to stabilize here. Drive it up. Kick back. Bring it back and down. Up. Kick back. Give you those triceps and back down. Bring it up. Kick back. Back and down. Up. Kick back. Down. Make sure you have your core nice and strong here. Make sure you row it back just like we did earlier. Row back towards the hips. Squeeze your triceps. So the back of the arms, those are two thirds of your arm versus your biceps, which is one. So you want to make sure you work them all the way. All the way. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, guys, so funny story. I didn't record the last five that I just did. So we're gonna do it again. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go four bicycle, four straight leg bicycle. Start out, touch the opposite side knee, and then after that four, you're gonna go straight leg. One, two, three, four. Back to regular. Now, if this is too intense for you, you can always stick with regular bicycles. Two, three, Four, you wanna make sure though, you press your belly button into the floor so you get rid of the curve in your back. If you start to feel this in your lower back, I want you to definitely modify, take out the straight leg part to it. You wanna have that ab control where you can get rid of that little cave between your back and the floor. One. Two, three, four, <laughs> one, woo! I'm just getting double ab work today. I win. All right, next up, we have knee in, knee in, open feet. So, from here, you can either come down to your forearms, press belly button into the floor, one, two, and open. Again, if you start to feel this in your lower back, you're gonna need to modify by supporting your lower back, chest, or sorry, um, head and shoulders off the ground. Yeah, really think about pressing belly button into that floor. My back is starting to fart. <laughs> so fun. One, there it is. There's my farting back. Excuse it. <laughs> Two, all the way. One. Two, all the way. Keep it up, guys. One. Two, all the way. One, two. Woo! All right, next up, we have leg circles. Now we're gonna go 25 seconds one way, 25 the other. I like to keep my hands right in back. Okay, so try to angle your feet so they face the same way they're going. So if they're going to the left, face a little bit to the left. If they're going to the right, face a little bit to the right. There's a bird. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I don't know if the camera caught that. It like completely noped out of here. Walk, it flew through the door and it's like, nope, something's going on here that I don't want to be a part of. All right, go ahead, go to the other side. Little snippies. Remember, if you need to, you can always bend the knees to make it a little bit easier. You can support your lower back, make little circles here. That's okay too. Whew. Just noped out. Leslie noped out of here. Chamber of Secrets. Three, two, one. All right, dolphin to upper body mountain climber. So I'm gonna to try to find a non-slippery spot, which is nearly impossible right now. And I come to the forearms. You're gonna press your hips up. Bring it back. Come to the hands, and then back down to the forearms. Press it back, bring it forward. Try not to have your butt sticking out too much, or up too much. I think I did a little bit too much on the first breath. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. Bring it back, up, 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 whoo. <laughs> down, down, Let's sit up, back. Almost there, guys. Got one move after this. If this is too much, you can always do up, up, 
Down, down on your forearms. Just make sure you're not in a puppy pose. You push your hips forward. Down, down, like that, okay? All right, last movement, swimmers. Now, swimmers, I don't find comfortable. It's super important to work our lower back because it's part of that core. So, raise, opposite hand, opposite foot. Keep your neck neutral with the spine. Keep it up, guys. Bring that knee to the outside, opening up the hip. Try to keep both hips on the ground as much as you can. Whew. And cross over the body, extend right arm to the right, look over your right shoulder, and try to pull with that left hand to get a deeper stretch. Bring back to center and down and here are flies. <laughs> Left knee in, pull. Breathing. Bring that knee to the outside, opening up the hip. And cross up the body. Stand left arms left. Look at that left shoulder. And let's take a moment to just appreciate your body for what you just did and what you just put through and what you put through every single day. Just remember that negative thoughts and negative affirmations towards yourself are not helpful at all. They don't help. They're not good. They're poison your body. So go ahead, bring it back and down. So make sure every day you give yourself at least three positive affirmations, like, I'm awesome. <laughs> Good and hands um, by the chest, press onto the knees and back into child pose, relax your neck, press palms to the ground. Like, I'm strong, uh, I have the coolest hair, something like that, I don't know, <laughs> just anything because positive affirmations will change your day so much, so, so much. So make sure that you do that, it's like, why not you? You know, why not give yourself some love and positivity? Because you probably do that for everyone else. So it's time to do that for you. And let's go ahead and bring it back to the knees. Whew. All right, we are going to curl the toes underneath. So push your hips back. Straighten out your legs. Get the hamstrings here. You can have a slight bend in the knees if you need to. Relax your neck. Breathe. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Let your neck be relaxed. Bring your crown up. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, roll the shoulders. 
few crinkle crackles there. Alright, so let's go ahead, left arm across the body and pull over that left shoulder. Shake it out of the other side. Shake it out. Left arm up and back, pull. Getting those triceps. Shake it out of the other side. And shake it out. All right, clasp the hands in the back, pull down. Drop the neck to the right. Back to center left. Back to center, shaky, shaky. Last one, guys. Clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in. Big inhale up. And exhale, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done today. Yay! We did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy awesome full body workout for the day. Thank you guys again so much for joining me. Please do again like the video before you go. If you could write a comment, that would be amazing. If you guys do want to support my channel, if you felt you had a lot of value from this workout, I do have in the description below a link where you can support my channel. It helps so much. I use all of it to buy new equipment and to improve my videos. So thank you. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. Feel free to let me know what move was your favorite today. And 